a traditional, good, traditional um, ankle lock or, or, or calf lock, or something like that. And depending on subtleties, if you can dig that forearm for in, you're going to probably nail it and keep your knees in tight. But it makes a huge difference. I'm still going to be able to resist a lot. Yeah. And you're going to get, you're going to start wearing out. Try it again. Okay. See, and now you're getting, you're getting weak. Yeah. It's a lot of energy. Yeah. It's, it's those little subtleties of what I'm doing, and I'll show you. The, these guys, when they're doing this, okay, keep that, you've got two choices. You can either try to point the toes of your feet in towards me. Yeah, see? That's good. So you can keep those toes as close to that way as possible. Uh -huh. and dig those suckers in. Yeah, see, that's that's a, that's good. I'm, it's going to take a shitload for me to do this. I mean, I'm going to have to do a lot of weird things to, to reinforce it. That's one defense. The other one is to get your heel in. I'm going to be careful with this one. This is this is the bad area. Really? Yeah. So, right here. It takes an awful lot. It really does. That's just one way you're going to protect yourself. So what I'm doing, though, I have to commit myself here. You've got a lot of freedom now. Because I'm, I'm over here doing this, and I'm trying to get your, your ankle. If you're digging that heel in, you're going to start rotating and doing a gator roll like you did earlier in that one match. And see, I have to do something, otherwise I'm going to lose it. See that? I mean, I broke it. And now we're leg fighting. Cool.